you might have a picture that you'd like to be black and white. There's a couple of ways we can do this. First of all, under the image menu, in mode, there's a grayscale. And I get asked if I want to discard all the colour information. If I discard that, it's now a black and white photo, but it's difficult now to adjust. I've lost all colour information and it's not the ideal way to create a black and white photo. So I'll undo that. A much better way is to make sure that we've got our colour palette selected, and you can see here it's selected. And down here in my adjustments, one of the adjustments I've got is black and white. Now by choosing black and white, that gives me the opportunity to adjust how black or white, dark and light different areas are. Now Photoshop knows that this was blue, the sky. So if I adjust this blue layer, you can see here very little effect on the trees here. But it's making the blue, or what was blue, the sky, darker. So obviously, if I was to adjust the green, you can see the effect it's having on what was the trees. So by using this black and white layer tool adjust here, I have much more control over what my black and white image looks like. This option here allows me to reset it if I need to start again. And there are various presets so I can see what it would like with a high contrast blue filter looks horrible. Undo it, go back to my blue, make my greens a bit darker as well and I'm happy with that and that's what I'd save.